Okay, today we're going to look at how we can get a free dynamic DNS service on our TrueNAS so that we can reach our TrueNAS services from outside of our network using a URL and not having to remember our IP address or checking our IP address. We can simply just type in a URL and we have access to our home lab. So there are lots of free dynamic DNS providers. Some of them have some limitations, some of them don't. Some of them have advertising. Some of them have limited time slots for your domain name that you've selected and you have to manually go and refresh them. So I believe the one that I've chosen here, DNS exit, is completely free. Although you only have a limit of two domains that you can choose from, which in most cases is perfectly fine. For my case, this isn't really publicly published and I'm not sending this URL to people to access. It's just for my own personal use to be able to access some of the services on my internal network while I'm outside of my home. So let's take a look at how we can sign up and get this configured on my TrueNAS. So we'll come to dnsexit.com. We can go to the DNS tab at the top and select free dynamic DNS. And then we come across this page here and we can see that my IP address is the Google DNS server. I've changed it just so that we don't get a public view of my IP address. And we have two domains to choose from, linkpc.net or publicvm.com. I'm gonna go with linkpc.net and we'll go techworks.linkpc.net. Click on the claim domain, and then we can click on create DNS. This will bring us to create an account. We'll go ahead and we will fill all this in. And then once you've registered, you should be able to log in when you get your email. So navigate to your email and click on the link. And then once you've clicked the link, you will be able to log in here. And now we can see that our domain is active. It's 100% free. So if we come over here, we can try and ping www.techworks.linkpc.com, sorry, .net. And the ping result should be 8.8.8.8. And there we have it. So how do we get this to automatically get our IP address for our home network on a regular basis? And when it changes, also update that. Let's take a look at TrueNAS and how that gets done through TrueNAS. So let's pop over to our TrueNAS system and get logged in. Okay, and we can see here that our IP address is 0 0.13. So what we'll do is we will come over to services. And just at the top here, there is an option for dynamic DNS. Let's go ahead and configure that. We'll select the provider. Now I believe DNS exit is one of the providers right here. We enter our username. the password for our service that we used and the domain name that we registered. So that's techworks.linkpc.net. Okay, so if we go over to the client area here, we select our domain that we've registered and we select edit for the domain DNS. We can see here the IP address that is registered for this host record, this A record here. So what we're looking for is that when we enable the service on the TrueNAS, this should get updated. So let's go ahead and save. We'll enable it and we'll select start automatically. Okay, so once you enable it, it should right away attempt to connect and log in with your credentials and update the IP address. So let's go back to our DNS exit tab and we'll update this. We'll give it a refresh and see if it worked. And there we go. This is blurred out because this is my 
pull my IP address and not everyone in the world needs to see it. But it did update from 8.8.8 .8 to a 99 dot address. So now when we're outside of the house or outside of our home lab, we can use the URL techworks.linkpc.net in order to connect to our home network and any ports that are forwarded on our home router will be directed to our TrueNAS system. Okay, so here we are on our external PC that is not on the same network, it's out on the internet. Okay, so let's open up our web browser and navigate to the dynamic DNS URL that we created. So TrueNAS is going to be an HTTPS connection. So let's do that. Then it's gonna be www.techworks. .linkpc.net and the port that we forwarded is 8088 and that's forwarding to port 443 of our TrueNAS because that's what the HTTPS protocol uses and that's what we forwarded in our router configuration for the port forwarding. So we'll hit enter and there we have a security check and here is our web interface. And there we have our web interface. And we are definitely not on that network. Okay, so we have a 72 public IP address. And we're connected over the internet to our web interface of our TrueNAS system. And that's forwarded over port 8088 using our dynamic DNS from DNS exit. So I hope this has helped you get your own dynamic DNS hostname pointed towards your home lab and get you connected from outside. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.